Right. So before we jump in, um, I randomly noticed over the past few weeks that I was using the Peacock app, well, a lot. Uh, first, I was binging back seasons of Below Deck, and then I churned through one of their new originals called Rutherford Falls, and then I fell way hard for Girls 5 Eva, which I know you guys are watchers of. Um, so armed with this epiphany, I took to my team Slack channel to announce that I was officially a peacocker or a, a bird watcher, <laughs> if you will, um, <laughs> only to be told that Peacock had announced a slew of new originals this past week on its socials. So obviously color me intrigued. I mean, if there was anything like Girls 5 ever, I was definitely gonna be into it and trust I was not disappointed. They've got Demi Lovato hunting UFOs. They've got Jojo Siwa's Momager looking for fresh talent and Miley Cyrus is gonna be doing a special pride concert sign me up. Anyways, it got me thinking we should totally do a spotlight on Peacock because I'm curious what y'all are watching. And I'll start because obviously there's one new show that was announced that really, really piqued my interest. And that is, drum roll please, go. Paris Hilton, the best obviously, um, is set to star in a new reality show that will follow her on her wedding planning journey across 13 glorious episodes. Uh, the show is tentatively titled Paris and Love and is already iconic, obviously. Um, Paris is a pro when it comes to reality TV. I mean, who can forget The Simple Life, my new BFF, my British BFF, Paris's Dubai BFF, just me? No? Nobody else? Okay. All right, fine. Anyway, so I'm particularly excited about this one. Now, Liz, I know you're a bird watching buddy as well. So I'm curious what you are a fan of. Thanks. I sure am. And it's Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist. I love this show. I mean, for me, it has the right amount of drama uh, slash heaviness slash comedy because who wouldn't want their life to just play out in song and dance? Like if I had to choose, that would be my life where people wouldn't know, but I would know your deepest thoughts because of your playlist and you would dance and I can watch all your movies. Um, I love this show. I love this show. I love that she falls in love with the best friend. Um, she works hard and gets a promotion at work. She also has a love interest at work. She has a gender fluid neighbor turned friend who tries to help her out through all of this as well. Um, she's got some family dynamics that she's working through. But what I love the most is that like me, she doesn't know every song. So she'll hear a song and has no clue who sang it. It sounds good, but what it does do is gives her insight into how you're feeling and how she can help. So love this show, um, watch it all the time and uh, can't get enough of it. So what about you, Gordon? What are you watching on? Oh, Liz, first of all, thank you for not calling me a peacocker or a was bird watcher. Thank you for just throwing it to me. I appreciate that. Uh, I picked uh, the new, <laughs> Yeah, I appreciate that. So uh, I picked the new Save by the Bell, <laughs> Save by the Bell 2020. And you know, everything doesn't need a reboot. Everything doesn't need a follow up. And honestly, the original Save by the Bell, which I love, doesn't age well. Um, it's just like, it's 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 for kids and I'm no longer a kid. Uh, so I was really worried when I heard they were bringing it back. Uh, I was so excited. I was so excited. I was so scared. Uh, anyway. They knocked it out of the park, honestly. Uh, the returning characters, they don't dominate the show. Like Mario Lop Lopez as AC Slater and Elizabeth Berkeley Lauren as, oh, I just blanked. Uh, she, uh, not Kelly Kapowski, she played Jesse Spano, ha ha. Um, they strike the perfect chord. Uh, they really let this new generation of kids shine and they absolutely do. Uh, they're all winners. Um, my the, the standout for me is this kid, Mitt, kid, come on. Uh, Mitchell Hoog, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this correctly. Uh, he plays Zach Morris's son, Mac Morris. And what they did was, if you go back and watch the original Saved by the Bell, uh, Zach Morris is a sociopath. Like he is a horrible human being 
We should not be rooting for this per person. Week after week, he's taking advantage of people, lying to people, poor Mr. Belding, putting him through the ringer. And they've kind of embraced this in the new show where Mac Morris is horrible and they they acknowledge it. Um, it but it is just, they really knocked it out of the park with this one. And, and, and it, it could have gone wrong in so many ways, but it didn't. I can't wait for the next season. If there is a next season, I'm not sure. Uh, so yeah, Saved by the Bell is my pick. And now I'm going to throw it to Rose, and uh, I'm not going to call you bird watching, buddy. You're just just my buddy. <laughs> my turn. <laughs> okay, Scott mentioned this earlier, and in previous episodes, Gordon and Audrey raved about the show. I was actually going to give the show a little bit of time. I was just going to, you know, let it be, and I'll get to it when I get to it. But their vote convinced me to give the show a shot. Also, I'm a fan of Tina Fey, who's the executive producer, created by Kimmy Schmidt scribe Meredith Scardino. It's about a girl group during the TRL era, planning their comeback. You know what I'm talking about. If you don't already, it's Girls 5 Eva. We're gonna be famous 5 Eva, cause force Eva's too short. You'll see what I'm talking about. <laughs> is, there, is there a clip? There might not be a clip. Exactly, I mean, this, Liz, this also combines your dream too of us just breaking out into song. Like this, this in real life and Girls 5 Eva, I highly recommend you check it out. But, <laughs> but yes, that, that's my pick for Peacock. I'm going to call it anybody who's been involved in musical theater. Uh, Renee Elise Goldsberry, who is one of the leads in that, uh, she originated the role of Angelica Schuyler in Hamilton. Um, I think she actually won a Tony for it. And you can watch that on Disney Plus, Voice Command, Hamilton.